afternoon, everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Hope everyone is well. Um, I just got back from being out and about again for the day, and uh, I was in the stores, and it is, well, for Saturday, I don't think there's really much difference. It was no more crowded, or um, there wasn't really much of a change from the usual from what I would have expected for a Saturday. So I wouldn't say that it was terribly busy, but I wouldn't say it was terribly slow either. And yes, there is Christmas everything everywhere you go, which is good. I'm glad to see that. And you know, I just thought there was a time where you couldn't even say the word Christmas. So I guess we've come back a little bit, which is wonderful. Um, yeah, it was always happy holiday. like. And of course now we have the disruptors uh, doing their protests and it's all around Christmas. It's around the Christmas trees, it's around the Christmas shoppers, it's around, uh, I guess those folks don't really celebrate Christmas. Too bad for them. Now I've done all my Christmas shopping, I've learned over the years to do a quick and easy. I just go out and buy these beautiful Christmas cards from Dollar Tree for $1.50 a piece and they're all individually cellophane wrapped. So they are they stay together, they don't get dirty, they're interesting little cards and I get the number that I need and of course I just um, mark who the gifts are for and I stuff the envelopes with a certain amount of money for depending on who the gift is for. So children all get the same amount, adults, my adult children <laughs> get a different amount but my grandchildren also all get the same amount. I don't really care how old they are or how old they're not. Uh, I treat them all equally. So, And that is my Christmas shopping done except for Mark. <laughs> and I have no idea what to get him, but that's always the case. Um, I have gone out and bought him some new jeans already and today I picked up some new wine glasses for him. He broke the last one. But those are not Christmas gifts. Those are everyday, replace what's needed type things. So I still have no idea what to get him. So probably just uh, let him decide what he wants to, just like everyone else. I find it's much easier and everyone's much happier if they get to choose their own gifts or how they spend their holiday money. So Christmas money. So I have been had dragging myself through a number of grocery stores looking for paper and that is very similar to rice paper but it's not the same thing. So it's it's a very um, thin layer of um, edible paper and I was going to use it to make a, an Italian candy called Torone. And yes, I can do without, but I've always liked that paper on the outside. Or I can do it with um, something else that's a little bit thicker, like wafers. I do, I, I do have wafers, but it's not traditionally made with wafers. Now, um, I guess the only thing that's stopping me from making them, number one, is finding the wafer paper that I want. And number two, <laughs> guess who's going to end up eating most of it? And I've already put on a few pounds, and it's not even Christmas yet. So I've put on three pounds, and I'm like, oh, I spent an awful lot of effort to try and lose those three pounds, and now they've all come back. And I have no idea why. I guess I just eat when I want. I think it's those nacho chips. And I made a whole bunch of nacho sauce that, you know, or, or yeah, yeah, going through that, I probably have to cut back on those nacho chips. They must be filling. Anyway, my intent is to celebrate the holidays, to um, spend Christmas with my family, to be happy and cheerful and Whatever comes after that, comes after that, and we know it could be pretty ugly afterwards. But hopefully we have a few more weeks of respite and um, should be able to enjoy spending some time with lovely little people. <laughs> I look forward to spending time with all the grandchildren together. 
And that doesn't happen often where you get them all in the same room. And so should be interesting. Still canning, still um, looking at topping up the pantry. It's doing okay so far. I still have a ton of flour, a ton of pasta, a ton of... I, I did quite well last year, so it's just a matter of what are you using. And I think at this point it is, I've, I've topped up the chicken. I think I'm going to get some pork. And a couple of interesting bits that have been going on in Canada's world is that, um, I don't know if you're aware of a right-wing German politician by the name of Christine Anderson. She's been to Canada a number of times. She is a very strong supporter of the truckers' convoy, of the truckers' protest. And um, she also had some very strong words for our Prime Minister a while back. So there has been attempts to cancel any of her events. She just recently finished an event in Ottawa, but uh, cancel culture was definitely uh, after her and trying to make sure that she was unable to. And they were, they did manage to cancel the venue that they had originally scheduled uh, for her event. And, uh, but they managed to find a second venue. And although the owner of the second venue was intimidated and harassed and yelled at and God knows what else, but uh, he stood firm and decided that he was not going to allow certain culture to control the situation. So Christine Anderson managed to have her event and apparently they sold even more tickets than they would have at, uh, had the event held at the original venue. So. Uh, Yay, another one for fighting cancel culture, because that's what it's all about. You know, it's a, it's a matter of standing firm against people who decide that you cannot speak. Um, no one says that they can't say their piece. No one tries to prevent them from talking. So uh, I would suggest that uh, courtesy suggests um, that that should be a two-way street. And of course the second one that I heard today that was very interesting was that Tucker Carlson will also be coming to uh, Alberta and he will be meeting with the Premier of Alberta while he's here and that is scheduled for late January and of course there are those that are immediately frowning upon that situation and why is she meeting with him you know she shouldn't be meeting with him. He's just the wrong type of person, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, um, we'll see how that event goes and uh, should be interesting. <laughs> anyway, catch you soon. Bye-bye for now.